In this video, I will show you how to highlight rows based on a cell value using conditional formatting. Have you ever highlighted a row based on certain criteria? Let's look at this data set of customers and orders. I want to easily see all customers in Colorado. I can manually select the row and highlight. That's a lot of work, but I have seen this done a lot of times. Let's see how this can be done using conditional formatting. First, I'm going to select my range A2 through E10. On my Home tab, Conditional Formatting, select New Rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format, and I'm going to input the formula equal dollar sign E2 equals CO in quotation marks. Format, and I'm just going to choose yellow so it stands out, and click OK, and click OK again. And notice that Colorado is selected. This is much quicker using conditional formatting than doing it the manual way. So now what happens if I have a new order and I put in a new customer? As soon as I type in CO, it automatically highlights yellow. Oh, that makes it so much easier. So how does this work? Conditional formatting checks each cell for the condition we have specified. When analyzing each row in A2, it will check whether E2 has Colorado or not. If it does, that cell is highlighted. Why the dollar sign before the column E2? By doing this, you lock the column to always be column E. The dollar sign means it is an absolute cell reference. When a formula contains an absolute reference, the cell reference does not change. If you copy or move the formula, it refers to the same cell as it did in its original location. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.